Hi everyone, my name is Jade Calver. I own and operate Calver Immigration Consulting Inc. We're a full service Canadian immigration firm located in Ontario, Canada. Today I'll be talking about work permits for French speakers under the Francophone Mobility Program. In Canada, most work permits that you get will need to first be advertised for through a process called the Labour Market Impact Assessment. There are exceptions to this LMIA requirement that are administered under the International Mobility Program. One of those programs is called the Francophone Mobility Stream. And what happens under this Francophone Mobility Program is that if a person has high level French, they're either a native speaker or have native level like French language skills, they can actually skip over that LMIA process, which makes getting a work permit much easier than if you required an LMIA. So under the Francophone program, what happens is that an employer needs to offer a foreign national a job offer. So the job offer needs to be in a high skilled NOC position. So that's NOC 0, A or B. And under these programs, what happens is once you submit the job offer online for the foreign national, you as the foreign national, so the person who's outside of Canada who needs a work permit, get a job offer number from the employer, and then you could submit directly for the work permit to Immigration Canada. The benefit of this is that you avoid the entire kerfuffle that is the LMIA process. So there's no advertising for the employer, no $1,000 fee, there's no two to three or sometimes four month wait process for the LMIA, and you can go directly to the work permit. If you're from a country where you have completed your high school or post-secondary education in French, so I'm thinking France or Belgium, Luxembourg, a few European countries, then you're fine to just submit with your school documents. If you are from a country that's not predominantly French speaking, so for example, you are submitting from you know Lebanon or Morocco, so obviously there is a large percentage of the population who sp speaks French at a very high level, but it's not obviously the first language of many people. I suggest that you always take a French exam to submit with the application. This way you can show that you have taken either the TEF or the TCF Canada, and then that shows you have a high level of French that makes you eligible for this Francophone Mobility Program. The actual position itself in Canada doesn't need to require French. The idea and motive behind this program is that Canada is a bilingual country and we're building the Francophone communities outside of Quebec. So you need to be destined to a province other than Quebec, which seems counterintuitive, but you need to be going to any other province other than Quebec. The nice part about these work permits is that they're issued usually for three years, so it gives you plenty of time to work in Canada and the great part about it is that that experience counts for both Canadian work experience under the express entry program as well as job offer experience so once you've worked for one year on this work permit you can also qualify for job offer experience under the under the express entry program for permanent residency so the francophone mobility permit is a really great way for applicants to get a work permit quickly as an employer if you're looking to recruit candidates those who have a high level of french are great for you as an employer because it's efficient in getting people here and starting to work for you if you have any questions about the Francophone Mobility LMIA exemption and how to apply, please get in touch with us. We are online at calverimmigrationservices.com.